today I'll describe a simple broadband receiver. Able to receive signals from a few hundred kilohertz up to over a thousand megahertz, it's just the thing if you want to track down a local source of interference. Also, if there are AM signals close by and you're not sure of the frequency, then you'll be able to pick them up on this little receiver. It's very simple. It's just a two-stage audio amplifier with a crystal set type front end. On the left is the on-off volume control. On the right is the headphone connection. And in the middle is a switch. This is the receiver circuit. The incoming signal comes through here, detected by a 1N5711 diode with a little bit of DC bias. The switch here is so that you can switch between the telescopic antenna and a RF input socket. If you want, you can connect a tuned circuit here and that would give you a bit of selectivity. You could make it an AM broadcast receiver or if you used a smaller coil and variable capacitor it could pick up the aircraft band. It won't be that sensitive but you will be able to hear signals especially if you're near an airport. The signal from the diode is very low level audio so it's amplified by this BC548 then a potentiometer volume control and then a standard LM386 audio amplifier circuit. It's powered by a 9 volt battery a 6 to 12 volt supply would be fine and you can connect it to either a pair of headphones or a speaker. If you wanted to make this a more useful instrument you could make this an audio signal tracer as well. In fact the amount of audio gain that you have should be enough to even operate as a audio stage in a direct conversion receiver for say 80 or 40 meters. I did have a thought previously of having a inductor say 100 microhenry to a millihenry going from this connection to this socket. The idea of the inductor is that you could apply either audio or RF to the input socket. The inductor being a sufficient value to operate as an RF choke. I tried it but particularly indoors it seemed to pick up a lot of hum. So if you want the audio amp feature I would suggest an extra socket. But keep wires short to prevent hum pickup. My motivation to build this came after looking at this article on the amazing all band receiver. I'll give you the link below but if you scroll down you'll find a circuit very similar to mine using the LM386. On that same site is a very similar circuit for an aircraft band receiver. My first test of the broadband receiver is about one kilometre from Melbourne's Moorabbin Airport. There's no selectivity but when you move the receiver around and to a lesser extent change the length of the antenna then different signals become audible. If I wanted to make a better receiver, but still broadband, I would have a high pass filter at around 100 to 110 megahertz. And before that, put in an RF preamp. That should allow much better reception without interference from AM broadcasters.